Hello, my name is Paul and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to answer a common question that I get here on YouTube and from my clients as well, which is how can I customize the data fields that are shown based on the pipe drive deal stage or pipeline that my deal is in. Now, while you can't technically disable fields for different pipelines, I am going to show you a workaround for how you can make different fields more visible or hidden based on the stage or pipeline that your deal is in. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you want to get more one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, setting up your account, training your team, or automating your sales processes, then have a look in the details below this video and check out the link in the description to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Okay, so let's get into this video. Okay, so here we are inside one of my deals in Pipedrive. Now, there's a couple of features we're going to utilize to customize where different fields show up in my Pipedrive account. Um, as you can see right now, I have some details showing here, some of these fields showing, and I have some important fields as well. And if I show you what that looks like in my settings, you can see uh, these are my fields that I've set up and you can see a couple of them are marked as important. Now, just to explain a couple of concepts here so you understand what's going on. When you create a field, you can decide if you always want that field to be visible in the detail view or not. So you can see that most of mine are visible. Things like booking time are not visible. Now, if I actually kind of show you what that means, here are the visible ones. The other fields like that booking time here, it is technically in the deal. And if I click this expand icon, I can show all of my fields, including those that aren't visible by default. So I can just click and expand to show all of them. That's the first feature we're going to be using to actually hide everything. Um, and then the second feature we're going to be using is the important fields. So when you set a field as important here, like deal source, you can see I've said that for both of these pipelines, if this is not filled in, I really want to highlight that field as being important. Same with this one here, this referrer field um, for the sales pipeline only in this case. If that's not filled in, I want to highlight it as important. So we can see those two at the top here. And if I fill in deal, deal source website and save that, you see it actually fills in the detail down here. So those are the two features we're going to be using. So now let's actually customize everything. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm just going to hide everything by default by clicking into each of my custom fields and unchecking this option here to make them always visible. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So you can see now uh, for all of the data fields here um, on my for my deal settings, none of them are set to be shown in the detail view and I've actually removed all the important settings as well. So if I just refresh my page here now, we should we should not see any fields on my deal. Uh, actually, the deal source we are seeing because that's actually filled in. So if I remove that now, you can see I'm not actually seeing any details here. Again, they are technically still in the system and I can expand and I can see them, but I've just hidden them all by default. So that's step one. Now what I need to do is I'm going to go through each one, each of these fields, and I'm going to decide where in my pipe drive account I want to highlight this field. So maybe, you know, this uh, bidding company, this is, this should really be filled in after we get to the meeting arrange stage on my sales pipeline. Uh, booking date, maybe let's just say that's any time during the sales pipeline, we can fill that in. And uh, booking time, let's just do the same thing for that pipeline here. Oh, and uh, let's turn off required for now. And so if we have a look at what this looks like on the deal view now, because we're in the sales pipeline, we're at the needs to find stage, these three fields here are being highlighted in my important uh, important fields section. And when I fill each of these in, so let's set the date, let's choose my time, and let's choose my bidding company. Just put that in there. If I reload my page, you can see those fields are now filled in. And so I can continue going through that. I can say, right, this deal source, you know, maybe this is important on both pipelines. Uh, maybe this referrer, this might only be important on my maybe my second pipeline. And so I can just keep going through that uh, list of settings, deciding where I want certain data fields to be shown or hidden based on the different pipelines and stages. So just a quick recap of those steps. You basically want to hide all of your fields by default, make sure they do not appear in the detail view. And then we're basically just going through uh, field by field and deciding at what stages and on what pipelines do we want those fields to appear. So 
This is just sort of a bit of a workaround. The important field settings, um, it's not technically, it wasn't meant to be used this way, but it absolutely can be. And so it's a nice way to customize how your uh, pipe drive account looks or what your deals look like based on the different stages. And so there we go. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.